Recent breakthroughs in battery electric propulsion, computer modeling and autonomous flight are the three major ingredients for the long overdue future of flying cars. Hundreds of startups are trying to beat each other to the market with ever more innovative designs. And as always, we are tirelessly reporting on their progress. So tune into Automotive Territory for the latest updates on the new VTOLs, tilt rotor aircraft and air taxis. But before we begin, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell and enjoy your flight! Air One in the making since 2018, the Air One is an electric VTOL created by the Israel startup Air EV that will target primarily the US market. It is a fixed wing aircraft with two passenger capacity and a max payload of 551 pounds. The one is powered by eight motors that spin eight pairs of three blade rotors to allow for the maximum speed of 155 miles per hour and 110 miles of range. This extended range is achieved through the lightness of the one that forgoes tilting mechanisms and instead implements Air's fly-by-intent system. Its cabin has sports seats, individual screens, and both occupants can take control over the flight. According to Air EV, they aim to simplify the training process, but the pilot license is still a must for flying the one. The first production size version of the VTOL was demonstrated by the company in mid-2022. And last December, the model completed its first transition to forward flight with a full load on board. The Air EV plans to start production and customer deliveries in 2024, putting a 150k price tag on their creation. In June 2023, it was announced that the Air One will fly under the airspace coverage on Highlander's Universal UTM. It will provide flight monitoring, flight plan approvals, and in flight conflict warnings. Archer Midnight Moving forward from the two-seat maker concept, Archer Aviation have now introduced their final production design of a futuristic air taxi. This American company was backed by the automotive conglomerate Stellantis and now proceeds to testing a V5-seater tilt rotor Midnight EVTOL. This v tailed beauty mounts six propulsion rails on thick fixed wings. During the takeoff, all 12 propellers create lift but after the tilt rotor transition, only the front set of six rotors generate forward propulsion. The Midnight is viewed as an efficient and silent hopper between heliports and city rooftops. The engineers are eyeing the max range of 100 miles at the speed up to 150 miles per hour, though the majority of flights are not expected to exceed 50 miles. This aircraft is currently being demonstrated to the potential buyers at various international air shows in the Middle East and the US military bases. The in-house schedule suggests 2025 certification, with multiple experts believing that they have a 75% chance of actually meeting this deadline. Joby S4 One of the original electric aviation startups Joby was established all the way in 2009. And since then, they have grown to employ nearly 1,500 people, have several California offices and even one overseas department in Munich, Germany. In the early years, Joby researched different aviation concepts. But later, they focused on creating a VTOL that could function as an air taxi. Their current model labels S4 as a tilt rotor aircraft that is flown by six propellers on its V-tail and fixed wing. The model is capable of VTOL and horizontal flight, and it is designed to carry four passengers and a pilot. It has already demonstrated 150 miles of flying capability, but for the production version, the company promises solid 100 miles plus energy reserves. The maximum speed of the aircraft reaches 200 miles per hour. The creation of the S4 was made possible through funding from the world's leading mobility giants like Toyota and Uber and the model is expected to start commercial operations by 2025. However, as it often happens with the groundbreaking technology, Joby's first paying customer will be the US Air Force, who contributed $131 million to the program. The first of the ordered S4s was delivered to the Air Force in June 2023, half a year ahead of schedule. And the company plans to deliver eight more next year.
Out of Flight Prosperity 1 Gen 4. Born from a successful consumer drone specialist Unique, the Shanghai-based Out of Flight implements German design to release the fourth generation of the electric VTOL that was able to set a world record for the longest flight in the class. The Auto Flight Prosperity 1 is a full-size prototype developed with the help of Frank Stevenson, who is also behind the creation of the Lilium jet and multiple iconic automobiles. Unlike the previous versions that used two propulsion rails, eight lift propellers and two pushers, the Gen 4 implements a four-rail design, much thicker wings, eight lifts and three pusher propellers. This construction is quite simple, but it's aerodynamically disadvantaged when compared to tilt rotors. Nevertheless, this five-seater lift and cruise machine managed to beat the 2021 record set by Joby Aviation. The longest ever recorded flight of an electric VTOL aircraft belongs to Prosperity 1 and reaches 135 nautical miles at 100 knots. With $200 million in its coffers, the company plans to apply for certification in 2025. Aska A5 Fed up with California's heavy traffic, this Mountain View company developed a rather capable flying car that has already achieved FAA certification for flight testing. The Aska A5 might actually possess the most versatile capabilities in the segment. This flying Orca Whale is sized as the largest SUV and sits for passengers. The on-road driving is ensured by in-wheel electric motors with a rapid acceleration from 0 to 60 in just 5 seconds. Whenever an air transit is required, a push of a button would unfold canards and wings and would extend an array of electric propellers. Unlike the original flying car designed by the Slovakian Aeromobile, the Eska A5 possesses not only a short takeoff and landing capability, but also can perform vertical lifts. After becoming airborne with the help of six rotors, Aska tilts two large propellers and engages them for forward propulsion. On shorter routes, this VTOL would be juiced by a battery system. But in order to reach the maximum 250 miles range at the flight speed of up to 150mph, Aska developed a gasoline range extender. Despite a bunker's price tag of $800,000, Aska says that they already have upwards of $50 million worth of pre-orders which translates to 60 vehicles. Doroni H1 Led by wartime veteran and Israeli Air Force intelligence officer Dorn Merdinger, the Florida-based Doroni Airspace is aiming to deliver the world's most compact flying car directly to your garage. The H1 has a two-seat design with a multi-copter airframe and additional propellers for horizontal thrust. Eight ducted coaxial propellers are lifting a bubble-shaped cabin with a maximum payload of 500 pounds. The battery charge would be sufficient to cover up to 62 miles of range with the top speed up to 140 miles per hour. The aircraft offers easy-to-use controls, multiple redundancy systems and a ballistic parachute if everything else fails. Doroni's Afterlight Sport Aircraft Certification, which would allow operation of the aircraft only after 20 hours of training. With a comparatively democratic price tag of 200 grand and a footprint of 23 by 15 by 5 feet, this VTOL has an actual chance of landing in multiple households across the entire world. Would you like to take to the skies more often? We will cover innovative aircraft on a regular basis if you smash the like button and ask for more in the comment section below. Thank you, and let's keep rolling! Vertical Aerospace VX4 The UK-based Vertical Aerospace started development of its first vertical takeoff and landing aircraft back in 2016. Over the years, the model transformed from an electrically powered 1600-pound quadcopter to a five-person fixed-wing aircraft with eight propellers ensuring VTOL capabilities. Still zero mission, the current VX4 model targets covering around 100 miles on a charge, while its cruise speed should reach impressive 150 miles per hour. The first tethered flight of the full-size pre-production unit took place back in 2022, while in July 2023 the company fully tested VX4's lifting off, flying, hovering and landing capabilities. 
Certification will take place sometime in 2026, so we should not expect the model to start commercial flights earlier than 2027. The VX4 will be built to first enter into service as an air taxi, but the company also plans to offer reconfigured versions for medical evac and cargo transport. Transwing Pterodynamics Southern California startup Pterodynamics are yet to present a flyer with an actual passenger cabin, but be sure, they're certainly getting there. The fifth-generation scaled-up version presented in 2023 is a mature design of the EVTOL with the unique diatral faulting wing system. Instead of increasing efficiency by utilizing a large wingspan and tilt rotors, the transwing goes for a patented design where both wings are tilted with single actuators instead of moving each rotor separately. Additional benefit of this design is an extremely compact footprint at a landing pad, plus diadral hinges make the transition aerodynamically benign. The XP4 prototype has a 13 feet wingspan and a 6.6 .6 feet fuselage with four props, out of which only two are run for forward flight. Pterodynamics are currently testing electric powertrains plus hybrid and turbogen systems for future transportation of heavy payloads. Unfortunately though, since this project is funded by the US Navy, we might never see this aircraft used for civil transportation. SkyDrive Japan will be hosting the World Expo 2025 in Osaka, so their home-based startup SkyDrive is planning to unveil an appropriate transportation solution for this occasion. This is an evolution of the SD05 single-seat air taxi with a footprint of 43 by 43 by 10 feet and a single pilot two-passenger cabin. The battery electric flyer is expected to have 3,100 pounds takeoff weight, utilizing a big drone design. This implies a non-transitioning 12-motor 12 12-prop 12 propulsion system mounted on a circular frame reminiscent of the Velocopter. At this point, developers are aiming for a 60 mph speed, but only 9.3 miles of per charge range. Though autonomous operation with three passengers for up to 25 miles is also a close goal. SkyDrive has set its sights on commencing aircraft production in early 2024. To achieve this goal, the company is expanding its partnership with the Suzuki Motor Corporation, which commenced in March of the previous year. As we speak, they're establishing a new subsidiary dedicated to production, situated at a Suzuki facility in Japan's Shizuoka Prefecture. Zapata Air Scooter The French Zapata is not exactly a newcomer on personal mobility market. In the past 10 years, they've created multiple water and aircraft, including the latest Jet Racer VTOL with an open cockpit design. In 2023, the company presented the all-new air scooter concept with an enclosed X-shaped cabin and eight carbon poles extending from the body. The rear two are connected, forming a kind of a rear wing. In total, there are 12 electric propellers, four larger ones on the north, south, east and west poles, and eight smaller on the remaining poles. According to Zapata, the propulsion is supplied by a hybrid electric system that should beat all the competitors and will offer two hours of flight. Instead of using a single gas turbine, the air scooter is powered by four separate engines, driving the larger four propellers. These are mounted underneath them at the end of the poles. The air scooter is set to carry nearly 19 liters of fuel, while its empty weight is expected to be 253 pounds. As the name suggests, the air scooter is a single-person aircraft which will require minimal training and possibly no pilot license, just like some of its land-driven counterparts. This will be made possible by its patented computer-assisted fly-by-wire controls and electronics that will perform most of the flying. Next week, we'll show you the second volume of this video, covering yet another dozen of incredible aircraft. So give us some creative fuel by asking for more in the comment section below and subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss it. Smash the like button, ring the bell and proceed to exploring the worlds of VTOLs through the links on the screen. As always, may the torque be with you!